Barnaby Bumblefurry wasn't your average bear. In the realm of whispering glades, where moss-caked houses bloomed from tree trunks and fireflies blinked constellations under a twilight sky, Barnaby dreamt of constellations himself. Not the cosmic kind, mind you, but the edible variety. He wasn't built for hibernation. While his brethren snored beneath silvered frost, Barnaby yearned for adventure. So under the watchful gaze of moon-faced moths, he'd sneak past slumbering trees, drawn by the siren song of moonlight meadows. There, berries shimmered like amethyst under the pale glow, and phosphorescent fungi whispered secrets of forgotten lore. One night, his paws led him to a hidden glen veiled in mist. In its center, a waterfall sang, its crystal spray catching the moonbeams and weaving them into shimmering threads. He watched, entranced, as the threads twirled and coalesced into a luminous butterfly, its wings a stained glass kaleidoscope of color. The butterfly danced, beckoning Barnaby towards the waterfall. He knew it was no ordinary creature. Whispers of Star Weaver filled his mind, whispers of a being who spun wishes into constellations. Taking a deep breath, Barnaby followed, his claws clicking softly on moonlit pebbles. The Star Weaver, bathed in moonlight, turned. Its eyes, pools of liquid silver, regarded Barnaby with gentle curiosity. Whispers speak of a bear who dreams beyond berries, it said, its voice like chimes rustling in the breeze. Barnaby blushed, his fur prickling. A dream of... He hesitated. A constellation of honeycombs. A sky full of sweetness. The Star Weaver smiled, its laughter a melody of tinkling bells. It touched Barnaby's snout with a luminous wing, and a warmth spread through him. When he looked up, his heart soared. A new constellation glittered in the night sky a swirling nebula of golden light, forever reminding him that even the most whimsical dreams could find their place amongst the stars. And so, Barnaby Bumblefurry, the bear who dreamt of constellations, became a legend whispered on the wind, a reminder that even in the realm of whispering glades, the most peculiar dreams could light up the sky.